right that's done let's go all the way back down okay sick I got the stream live let's get some stuff organized and let's get back into it Brushes are good. What is this? Random needle from yesterday. Alright, cool. Now we're looking good. But we need music. Alright. Die Lab, what's good, homie? Man, four days, four days in a row now. <laughs> Welcome back, homie. How you living? How's the day? Hopefully you had a productive day, man. I finally get to start back on this joint right here. Good, do something productive. Man, look at this guy, dude. He comes in here aggressive. Why you gotta come in all aggressive, bro? We're trying to have a good, um, what is today, Wednesday? Today's hump day? I don't know, every day's like the same day at this point. We're trying to have a good hump day, dog. What's up, Speed Infusion? <laughs> Outcast, what's good, man? How you living? Everything good? Speed Infusion, guys, is the uh, admin in the group. So in case uh, you're wondering why I'm clowning him, he's, he's family. So today uh, we've got to continue Mr... Mr. Goat right here. That's where we got last night. Kind of getting that detail in. Putting in shadows on the jersey. You can see I'll kind of point out where we left off on the shadows there. Right in this little section here you can see Mike's shorts are getting tucked in because of, you know, the, the waistband tucks in the shorts started to get a little bit of clarity around the actual Jordan numbers letters uh, off of line I just started to airbrush in just a little bit more to get more of the skin you will see the skin let's see let's see if I could show you guys dark spot um, dark spot here dark spot in the head and neck so just trying to get closer to the actual picture now, I don't need to be perfect. I just need to know that I'm, I'm diving towards that right direction. You know what I mean? Uh, nothing's more frustrating than you painting a piece and you have a picture there and it doesn't look like that picture for whatever reason. Um, but you know what? I'm getting to the point where I can see it. And so that's, that's a great sign. Uh, now, today I'm going to start working on the outer scope of, of Jordan and what's going on behind the scenes. I did want to probably uh, knock out Russell first uncover him there's um, I'm not sure uh, who this was on, on the jazz here you guys could see him in the picture though on the left side of Jordan here uh, but he's looking away so maybe you know knocking out characters near him and then expanding outwards because when people look at the actual photo of well this photo here they're gonna see Jordan obviously because he's shooting the shot he's a center point but you'll see the basketball the jazz players around him you'll see the NBA logo you know, you'll see uh, little, little things like that before you're going to see the actual crowd behind him. So um, just kind of the scope of what I'm thinking about. And that's definitely not Carl Malone, fool. <laughs> this was it, Carl Malone. You're funny. But yeah, um, he's, he's definitely a, like a center, though, and, or a big man. Um, you can tell because big man and always wear goggles. <laughs> I don't know why that is. They always wearing goggles. Probably they get poked in the eye in the paint or something. So um, today's going to be a little bit more of a... I guess you could say a tedious day for me because I've got to jump in here and I've got to really look into the stencil to see if I can actually peel stuff out and start to figure out where people are in here if I can't exactly determine it I'm just gonna kinda let it go and I'll develop it by hand afterwards alright so uh, with that said let me just jump over to multi stream um, I before I start I just want to give a shout out to a couple of people real quick. Um, let me give a shout out to Superman Lover. Uh, I want to uh, shout out GT Chong. Graham, thank you so much. 
I want to shout out Blizz Lake Customs, and I want to shout out Flight School Customs. All of you guys have donated to the cause. I'm not exactly sure why this thing isn't updating up here. I got to figure that out, but I know we're at more than five bucks for getting our microphone um, because of these guys that just put in. So if you would like to support the stream, um, I really appreciate you know any help we can get so we can make the streams even more clearer, uh, just a better experience overall for you guys, all right? Uh, with that said, uh, let me just check out what's going on in the chat room before I start because uh, I just realized we are streaming on three different platforms. I always got to switch it over to multi-stream to see who's on. I just switched over. I said, what's up to the homie Dilab? But 08 Rainin, dog, you came in. <laughs> you made it to the barbecue again. I love it, man. You guys are all at the barbecue today. Uh, Outcast, what's good, homie? Uh, Patreon family, uh, appreciate you, doggy. The Dilab, what's good, homie? I'm good, man. My son taking a nap, and I'm working on a reverse union one. Don't you love it when you have that time where, like, they're finally settled out, and you're like, yo, I could finally get this exactly where I'm at right now, dude. I just got my son out the shower. He's only three. I got him bathed. I got him dressed. You know, I got him calmed down, and now I get to do what I'm uh, doing exactly what you're doing. That's what I'm doing, except I'm just streaming it. So I'm, I'm right there with you, homie. No sushi squad, right? <laughs> All right, so let's say what else we got going on in here. It's speed and fusion, just saying whatever. I just I skip over all his comments. Half of them he's just talking smack to me, anyways. <laughs> Scrawny Johnny's in the building. What's good? How you living, Johnny? And Curtis Remp's in. Can I have a shout out? Of course you can have a shout out. Shout out to Curtis Remp. Is it Remp or Rempy? I don't I don't mean to butcher your name, homie. Either way, you get a shout out. Johnny, what's good, man? Are you working on anything special? You always got something up your sleeve, homie. Mr. Scrawny Johnny. So, guys, I'm going to try to at least get a couple of people situated today. If I could knock out, you know, even like a quarter of this today, I'd be really excited. Unfortunately, I haven't found like an easy way to do this. This is all just really detailed and complicated work, so, um, you know, that takes time. There's no, like, ways to really cut time. So that's, uh, this is Russell that I'm taking out right now. Again, I could have weeded all this stuff out before, which probably would have been the better way to do it. And this is exactly why, because you guys can see that paint peel, so that's no bueno. So hopefully that doesn't happen with too much more here. So ideally I'm just looking for people here to... Oh, I can see a face, let me peel him out. I can see a face, let's peel him out. And that way I can start to determine who's in the crowd. Unfortunately, it looks very um, claustrophobic, for lack of better words. I can't really see what's going on in here. The few faces that I see, I'm going to just try to cut them out. Guys, I'll be in and out of the chat, you know, because I've got to concentrate on hitting these faces up correctly. And even if it's not a face, like for example, check it out, I just see, I could I could see the court, I can actually see part of the court, and the reason why I see it is I see the NBA logo, so I'm going to just kind of start to peel that out. doesn't even need to be the same color that it should be, for example, in the, the picture, what is it? Oh, it's white in the picture, so technically I should leave it, but I just want to make sure that I know kind of where it's at. What you're doing here is just mapping people out, and so then that way, when you see somebody, like for example, by like Jordan's wristband here, right? See that right there? Then I know, okay, if I look to the left of Jordan's wristband, I should be able to see that same person. So that way you guys can start mapping out and, and getting kind of an accurate looking crowd as well. Uh, ideally, you want to get as close as possible, but you know, this is, you can go for days, like legit you can go for days just painting and painting and, and detailing a crowd so 
really I just say try to get as close as possible as soon as you can without compromising all that detail you know see there's like a dude right here underneath because I can't see it really on a stencil now I gotta look back and forth on the actual picture so I see like for example on the NBA logo to the right of him there's like a dude like right there like peeking behind that NBA logo um, so I gotta hmm it's so difficult to see exactly where this dude's at so I might just draw him in by by hand you know I, I don't really try to force nothing I just want to try to get some people and an idea of where people are at so then when I take off the stencil at the end then I can say oh cool I know exactly who that person is or where that person is located anyways sorry I know just probably uh, talked your ear off there but just so you guys get an understanding of the mentality of what I'm doing here alright so we got a couple people it's not a lot All right, airbrush feels good. Let's see if I could just locate another person or two. Well, right above him, and above Mike's wristband here is a dude right about right here. So now he didn't even cut out. I'm gonna just manually kind of cut him out. And that's just so then that way I can locate. Okay, there, there's a head. There's a head right there. There's a head right there. All right, cool. Got the dude above him to the left. There's another guy like right about here, um, and he's got his hands going like this. Oh, he's not. He's cut off from your guys' picture but he's going to be he's going to be over here so let's just go ahead and at least try to knock a couple of these things out um, I know obviously Byron and this the center over here they're both going to be like a darker gray we're going to be doing black and white for the crowd so anyone who's got a darker skin tone will get a darker uh, paint color as well and then the people with lighter pigments in the crowd or wherever will get the mist and the lighter whites and grays dope cool yo Stanley what's good man thank you so much I appreciate it homie we're trying to get a hopefully this piece will come out okay it's funny because you never know, right? You just kind of in the process and the process and you never, I don't know, I never have like a finish line. Like I've had these for quite some time. The good thing is the sides are all finished up. And I feel like this is a, the finale for the shoe. All right, so I'm just dropping a little bit of gray in there very light amount of gray nothing crazy here alright and let's go ahead and just test it make sure spray it out okay hmm, nothing so that's not good see why that happened sometimes there's paint just stuck on the front here which it looks like that might be it it's just blocking the passage let's see if that helps Hmm, still didn't help. Alright, so let's dip a little bit of acetone here. I'm just taking the cap off because I'm going to just dip it in some acetone. It's just a little easier to jump in there. This will help clear the front nozzle a little bit. Let's just let it soak for a sec. Kevin, what's good? How you living, man? All right.
right, so now I'm going to see if that'll help break up the paint in the front. Let's check that out. Yeah, this guy don't want to behave today. Shady. Okay. Alright, so that front end is nice and clear. Hmm. Alright, let's do it the getaway. <laughs> this is what happens when you just gotta get it to work. So I'm gonna just aim for it from farther away and just give it a light spray. Hmm. One second, guys. Definitely don't want to mess Jordan up, so let's cover Jordan up real quick. Huh. How can we cover this guy up without messing him up? Just really aiming for Byron first here, alright? There we go. Just kind of blocking Jordan off there. I don't want him to get hit in the crossfire here. Alright, so I got him situated. We got a couple of guys here in the back. I'll just do the same thing. I'm going to just lay that out. But I don't want to affect Jordan, so let me just cover Jordan a little bit. Jordan's pretty much covered there, so I'll hit the other guys real quick. Again, guys, that doesn't need to be the perfect color. I'm just trying to get it for placement. The reason I said that was ghetto is because I should just be pulling the trigger back and it should work. There's something stuck here in the front. I'll figure it out later, or maybe I might need to use it again, so if it is, then we'll fix it. But for now, I got some people placed. Let's go ahead and take the stencil off. I think it's better if I just jump in and start painting it. Plus, I'm just anxious. Just want to see what it looks like. Just get that NBA logo just so I have it for reference. A lot of people say like, oh, you do stencil work? That's not like real art. Dude, this is really, I mean, it can still be very difficult to do this. Just because you're done with the stencil doesn't mean you're done with the stencil. You still gotta detail stuff out of it, so. I'm um, just, before I do this, I just wanna see if there's anything else on this that I can pull off that might be uh, beneficial. For example, like the backboard, I feel like maybe I should piece that backboard out before I cut this all out, so. Let's get that backboard out. I'm gonna just pull it a little bit closer to me so I can see what I'm doing. All right, well, this is where his hand ends and the backboard is underneath his hand and it falls like somewhere along here. So before I cut that, let me just measure and cut twice, right? So measure. I could see his finger right there. 
cuts it between the white backboard. Yeah, so somewhere like we're, we're going to just say about here would be good. And it goes all the way through. I'm doing this like super light, guys, so I don't cut into the actual shoe. And I see something here. So I bet you this is like a line for something on that backboard. Let's see. Oh, it might be too high. Okay, cool. That's not even part of the heel anymore, so I don't have to worry about that. So I'm going about like right there. And then up. So I believe this should be the backboard right here. If it is, that's perfect because I'm going to just leave the backboard there. And that way I'll start to create some kind of idea of where things are on that end. We can just kind of work on the backboard separately. Really careful when I pull all this off, you know. It takes uh, just a quick second of you to yank this off too fast and it can peel a bunch of paint off. So better you just take your time on it. Webs, what's good, man? Patreon gang in the building. Let's get it. So now I've got this side out. Webs, are you working on anything today? You've always got a ton of projects too. How many of you guys are working on something while you're uh, you're watching? Let's see. I'm gonna just keep it going. It's not going to hurt. Alright, so that should hopefully separate stuff here. Let's get this off. Here we got to put... His jersey. His jersey is important because it identifies him, you know? And so we got to make sure it's clear when we have the rustle a little bit in the back. So let's get to that right there. And now we got the backboard taken off. Stencils being stubborn. It's catching on in the paint. There we go. Cool. So now I just separated the backboard, which is up there. Oh man, the problem with this is it cut a lot of little pieces. So be patient with me, guys. I think what we can do today is let's concentrate on this side. That way we can at least try to knock out one side or something close to it. This can be the problem with stencils sometimes. You gotta peel all the stuff off and you gotta make sure everything is pretty much taken off. 
can be a little bit of a headache. Don't take that off yet. All right. So let's get into this section here. I got a little bit of pieces left. Let me just knock this little spot out. Get all these little pieces off. A lot of times you leave them on there for no reason. And then as you peel them off, then now they're peeling off paint for no reason. So rather rather take off anything that's sticky now so then we don't have to worry about it later. And I really want to get down over here to Jordan's jersey here so we can see what at least this finished product kind of looks like with the out uh, with the obviously detailing still necessary. Yeah, this was a mess. If I had done this all over again, I would have probably just taken just the key heads, leave uh, left them on there, and then hand painted the rest. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to keep that. All right, that was a mess. All right, lesson learned, man. That was a pain. <laughs> oh man, we got so many more people in the building. What's good, everybody? Patreon family, what's good? Webs Custom Kicks in the building. Uh, Vels Custom Kicks, what's good, Patreon fam? Outcast, Patreon fam, what's good? Got some Sean Weatherspoon Puma Romas in progress. Nice, man. I think you were talking about that yesterday, right? Were you trying to mix some colors for that? I'm not sure if you were asking uh, your opinion or advice, or if you were asking for some advice on how to mix those colors. If you are, let me know. You know, I'm here to help you out with that as well. Uh, Unhinged Customs. Uh, let's see what you're working on. Designs for an AF1 as I watch. Oh, nice, man. Well, thank you so much for watching, Unhinged. I appreciate that so much. Scrawny Johnny 82 Jam Customs working, working. I like that. Oh, look, look, kick. Kikia Hughes. <laughs> I need to be working on something. I've lost my mojo. Hey, dude, that happens quite a bit, man. Um, to be honest with you, this one right here was giving me a lot of anxiety to start working on it. Just because I know how detailed it's going to be. And then on top of that, I'm like, oh, let's, let's do this live. That's smart. I'm already nervous as hell about doing it. Let's do it, let's do it live. But, you know, sometimes what happens is you just got to start um, putting the work into it and then you'll see that the progress it, it'll it'll drive you to, to, to move but at the same time I've had the situation where just like writer's block you won't you won't have any inspiration so if that's your case sometimes I just take a rest I don't I don't work on shoes I go do something different and look for something else to inspire me you'll come back back with something better too it's good for your mind to take a break sometimes I know a lot of you guys saw me working with this pen yesterday just in case you didn't this is a micron a pigma micron what I could do is drop the link for you guys if if you want it. Just let me know. But I I like this um, this pen a lot. This pen, actually, a lot of illustrators use this kind of a pen. People who do comics and stuff. This is a a favorite for them. Comes in a lot of different widths as well. It doesn't have the same size tip. And that's an awesome thing because depending on what project you're working on. Alright, now I could take him off. I couldn't take him off until I had him slightly drawn in on the back here so we could figure out where he was at. So let's now take this off. See, now we can see where he's at because of the pen mark. Okay, that was just some paint chipped off of this whole thing. 
and that's okay we could fix all that there's a little stuff all right let's draw um backboard in real quick so again i'm just guesstimating here i'm just gonna use this line here and i base that line off of where mike's flick of his wrist is Man, this guy had so much confidence when he played. It's crazy. That's the kind of confidence I want when I create. So I'm looking there, and then I can see. Okay, well, let's pull off the rest of it here. So we can guesstimate the rest of everything. Come on, buddy. Let's come off. Very kindly, dope. All right, now let's get to the, the meat of things, right? Okay, yeah, thank you so much, man. I just read your last uh, portion. I really appreciate it, man. Oh, so green, what's good? How you living, man? We're making uh, some goats today. We're painting goats. Now, as I'm working on the NBA logo, part of me, because I've... <laughs> I've painted and played basketball and played it and watched so many games. I kind of have an idea where this NBA logo is at. But if you're a little unfamiliar with what that logo looks like, the best thing to do is always have that reference picture in front of you. Makes things a lot easier because if you guesstimate it and you mess up where it's at, then you're going to have to fix it. You definitely don't want to do that. You just waste a lot of time. So the better thing to do is just get that reference picture out. This is the kind of stuff that takes a long time, you know, because like I said, there's no shortcuts to getting the art to look perfect. There's no snapping your fingers to get this done. This is just time and patience and locating where things are like so all right so Russell's head is here for example and so I can guesstimate that that pole is going to come up over here this one should be about right here and that goes all the way down to here just to his jersey tail end of his jersey Goes up slightly above, and it starts to veer in. So now it veers in, and then it caps off right here on the top. I've got a really, um, I'm looking at the actual picture that's on your guys' screen. So if this isn't perfect, it's just because my reference picture is a little difficult to see. But the idea of it is just to start to develop the picture that's around Jordan. So it looks like the backboards uh, and the poles around here somewhere. Let me see if I can get a... I almost need to get a closer picture, guys. So give me a sec. I've got a second laptop here where I can actually get some clarity if I have a question about something. All right. That's better. So I'm looking at the NBA logo. And then this guy here. Today, guys, is going to be a lot of just kind of freehand sketching and placement. So if you haven't figured that out already, <laughs> uh, it that's what's going to happen. It's going to be just an idea of where I should get things placed down so then the picture will look accurate. Again, you can do this with a stencil. This doesn't need to be done free-handed. 
and usually the stencil will give you more accuracy. But sometimes I prefer to do it this way. I just like the part of it is just liking the the challenge of of drawing and trying to get something to look as close as it can. But if you've got a stencil maker and you don't feel confident, like this is never a, a bad situation to just make a stencil out of it. locating everything is I think the more difficult challenge for me just when you start to locate things though you can start putting paint on here everything will make sense it'll all click for you alright so let's see where I'm going here with this and start outlining Jordan's arm. It's more in like that. It's the flick. The release, man. He just knew it was going to go in. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Alright, so now we've got... It's going about right there. Could have been a little bit lower, actually. Now it's going to be about right here. Grace is back. And just for imagery, I'll drop the net in here. And then we gotta obviously fix it. But it's located about there, so then I can figure out the rest of the the backboard situation. Byron, everybody here. Alright. So let's get where are we at here? That looks like a black to me, so let me grab some black pen. Here we go, cool. Before I do that, let me just take a quick look, see what's up. That one guy in uh, NYR class, what's good? Finished a Kyrie 6? Man, I haven't worked on a Kyrie yet, so how? Um, give me your feedback, man. How did you like working on that Kyrie? Kyrie looks like a pretty difficult shoe to actually work on. I wasn't sure if it was paintable because it doesn't usually come in like a leather. Let's see, this whole thing is going to be black. I like it when I have to paint something black right next to a white because then you can start blocking things off. See, now I could see Russell a little bit clearer. If you guys need a link to these pens that I'm using, this is a Posca pen. 
uh, if you just go back to the last tutorial we had it was a <laughs> I was actually did with my daughter <laughs> how to paint with Posca pens and we've got the links over there for anybody who's interested there cool so got that done now what let's start working on um, Byron's Byron's jersey a little bit See, he's got the band there. Okay, we've got to do the whole band coming from. Looks like about the top of his shoulder here. I could feel a little stencil. <laughs> There's a little stencil right here. Stuck, I missed it. <laughs> there we go. Good thing I could feel that. Yeah, that's no going bueno if you leave some a stencil on somebody's shoe. <laughs> that's the last thing I want to do. Yeah, we got some creases in the back of his head. And of course my computer froze there, so I'm gonna just kinda hold off on the creases. Let's see if I could start to determine where people are in the crowd, okay? Um, I've got one dude like right above and to the right of Mike's number here. So let's kind of drop this dude in. Again, doesn't need to be a perfect representation of him, but just enough where if you look at that picture, you could see the dude, you know, he's got like a little, almost a beard and a mustache, he's got a full set of facial hair there I could see his eyes in that little area obviously but it's a little bit darker so he doesn't have to be perfect but I want to start to hone in on, on people's features as well because we're gonna have to paint them in so when they, we, we paint them in that's when we're gonna start to see like oh cool yeah I could definitely see that this dude for example is like let's say he's wearing an adidas jacket so I'll, I'll then draw his neck in his neck's about right here t-shirt white t-shirt uh, where is it at like right above the a on the jordan you know so this is how i know that i'm i'm being pretty accurate with my my crowd because i look at other things that are right next to him so let's see, this is Mike's jersey here. And Mike's jersey kind of rattles off here at the end. Becomes a little bit baggier. And then tucks in. Alright, maybe that's not perfect, but it's not a bad thing. We can color it in later. This two kind of falls in place. And then got his jacket dropped down guys if I'm not so involved in the chat it's just because I'm going back and forth and actually drawing this free-handed so a little hard to jump in the chat right away and engage with you guys today if you guys have questions though don't worry just be patient for me and I'll I'll answer you guys' questions Oh, so like he's somewhere in this area so I've got him blocked off and then the bottom of him kind of tucks right underneath the 23 here so yeah you guys can see this is not an easy like one two three kind of a process this is <laughs> you've got to really concentrate on where you're placing people down so just be prepared to well, mentally be prepared to do this. Found another little stencil piece. We're going to take him off before I continue. All the little stencil pieces got to go. Let me show you guys where I'm at so far, huh? 
So now we've got uh, Byron, the back of Byron's head. We're starting to develop the NBA court in the background, the net, the backboard. So I'm going to just keep going with that end. And again, it's going to be in a black and white because that way when the whole picture is done, Mike should be the center point of it. All right. So uh, with that said, give me a quick sec. I'm going to just have a quick drink. Outcast, I feel you on that, man. I hate stripping old paint. Stripping old paint is such a pain because you don't know how much work it is to get it all off. And then once you get it off, you're like, man, hopefully you can still recover uh, the, the job at the end. It can be frustrating. That's why I just kind of try my best to work on new shoes now gotten to that point where I'm like dude I can't I can't go through and try to strip all this old paint off but when you're practicing it's it's actually not a bad thing uh, and I've said this before that uh, you know this is a that's kind of more of a restoration project and you know the heart of customizing you should you should know how to restore things so if you get good at restoring then Painting is not anywhere further from that, you know? They're like cousins. Might have a little stencil here, so let me just make sure. Uh, looks like a layer of paint. It would be okay. What I didn't need to do is, uh, I guess we could do that. That's cool. Because this backboard is kind of, this, this is the foam for the backboard. It's got to run through the whole back. <laughs> but then I realized as I'm doing it, I uh, went through the net. So we could just draw the net right on top of it. So that's actually correct. <laughs> Even though I wasn't thinking. And so the backboard is just going to go ahead and cut all the way through, which is dope because I don't have to worry about doing too much to that. And now since I got the gray out, let's see if there's anything else we can paint that might be similar to that gray. If not, it's all good, you know, but we do want to start to look for, for shades that look like one another. Or what we can do is another thing. Let me show you what might be an even better option would be, uh, I've got a, a young lady about right here. Actually, she's a little bit higher. About right there. Then we got a dude right up next to her. And dude is about right here. So what I'm trying to do here, guys, is just guesstimate on where people are. Camera guys down here. Oh, I don't know if that's a camera guy, but it's somebody. Uh, dude's kind of white though, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Some great going there. Little patches over here. See, so inside of here is just really a lot, a lot of black and white. So I'm going to leave that as is. But you know what? The rim is actually the same color. So let's jump into the rim being about right there. Dang, I wish I had a chance to capture a little bit more of the rim. It's all good. All right, so we're getting there. Look, Kikia, no problem, man. I'm, I'm glad that I could be of help for you guys as well. So, um, you know, a lot of these guys are on the Patreon channel. And I really want to thank you guys for uh, just being on and watching, man. I'm, I'm glad you guys are so active as well. All right, as that's drying, let's 
jump back in the pen. So you guys notice that when I'm working, I'm always going like back and forth because there's something drying or something else to do. And so now I'm going to jump on Russell again. Let's try to see if I can get him a little bit more developed. I can't see necessarily his number, so I guess we don't have to make this perfect, but I know the R is about right here. I could see it on his jersey. But the thing is, he's got a lot of light reflecting on him. And so it's hard to see the actual letters and numbers on him. And then it looks like he's a three. Man, I gotta Google this guy's number just to make sure. So let me just Google it real quick, y'all. So, number. <laughs> Never thought I'd be Googling Byron Russell's number. Okay, so, if, <laughs> yeah, of course. Why wouldn't he have like 17 different numbers here, huh? Um, Byron Russell stats. Dang, bro, I don't know what number he was. Oh, here, more info. So, um, so he's either got to be 34 or 3. Because I, I see a 3. Let me see if that's it. All right, well, that's not going to show me. So I'm going to just assume he was a number three. Oh, maybe I could do Utah number. I really want to get that right. Okay, yeah, 34329. Why is this full so many damn numbers? You just keep your number, bro. All right, I'm going with the three. That's crazy that he had that many numbers. And I think they were all on the Jazz. Maybe I should just Google the moment, duh, or YouTube it. Okay, so that looks good. And now I could see like the bottom, for example, of his jersey. It's a little bit more rounded out, and then it has a peak here. There we go. Then it's got a line. It's not super prominent though. This area here is definitely darker. Should probably hit that with a little bit of paint. Where's that uh, dark? It's got add a little bit of gray into it. I'll notice I just used the pen there. I probably should have used the pen. Let's get just to look a little bit more of a shadow. Because I put that pen down and the ink didn't dry, I kind of used that to my advantage. There we go. Because that was like a dark spot there. Dope. All right, let's keep going on on Byron here. Let's see what else we got to do. So the back of his head. He's got we got to use a little bit of dark gray just because we've got shadows there, guys. So let me grab some dark gray. Wipe this guy down a little bit. And it's more on this tail end, so. Let's 
it's funny you can see the lines from the back of his head on this picture as well like you can see his necks turned and so much detail when you like start to really look at a picture don't realize it until you actually have to stare at it for hours a couple of the other pictures I, pay, I painted on this shoe are like hours and hours and hours of just staring at crowds so you guys will see that soon as soon as these are all complete So the dark gray just kind of helps fill shadows in. Oh, I should have told you guys, I'm working with the Princeton Select today. That's a 1 18th inch Princeton Select. And this one here is a angular shader should be used more for shading so exactly what we're working on today I just kind of use it overall though I like the I don't know I just like this this is a really nice little brush it's very convenient alright so let's see if I can start to put some more people in color for example this dude right here even though he's got a green jacket on this part right here it's going to look gray in the picture all right and then again he had some facial hair I remember that to see his hair there but I'm going to just start to put in some color NBA logo in the back and there's a dude like right next to that NBA logo peeking out here from the corner and he's got on dark gray so let's start to paint that dude in really should just be taking off all these little pieces of stencil I, I don't know why I keep them on there that's a bad habit guys so before you guys even start painting take all that crap off just better for you so this dude is kind of peeking from behind got a dark gray shirt on which makes life <laughs> a million times easier thank you sir it's got something on there I can see what it says ain't over till it's over or something like that I think it says it ain't over till it's over <laughs> not the shirt to have on this day that's for sure yeah, that's not the shirt to have on bro you picked the wrong shirt Please go back to your wardrobe and get out a Jordan goat shirt. All right. Right next to him is a girl. She's like, <laughs> she's yelling. It's funny. Really cool to see that. When you really look at a picture, you can see everyone's reactions at that one instance. Nuts. All right, so let's uh, let's draw this dude in. So, I've got reference. I 
You'll notice I go back and forth quite a bit, so sorry about that. I just want to make sure before I hit it with the pen that we're pretty sure where the dude's supposed to be at. So it should be about like right here. He's not that high up though, okay. Maybe a little bit lower. There. Behind this is a dude peeking past. It's crazy because I'm like looking for the people, but then there's things blocking him, so I just gotta get close enough to say, okay, that's a dude like right there. And then try to get his clothes down. So it, it, it can become uh, cumbersome for sure. Alright, so there's a dude there. And let me just space out. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Have any of you guys painted anything this um, complicated? I'm going to say complicated for me at least. <laughs> this is not... Um, I don't wake up in the morning hoping to paint something like that. When it's all done though... So happy to see it all complete. You know, the progress behind it. I honestly feel like this kind of helps me gain a little bit of confidence to just say, you know what, I gotta, I gotta jump in and just start it. In between the two here, we've got a bar. Bar is about Jordan's arm. Just say bar right there. Another one here. Again here I'm just trying to locate any of the spots that I can see that might be black or um, any dark lines that I could just kind of start to visualize and I could put it in. This is important for me because the farther I get in this process here the more confident I start to feel. I did this for some other kicks a couple years back that we haven't even had a chance to put on YouTube or anywhere on social media. And it was for a bunch of important clients that are very hard to get in touch with. So they still don't have them. But it was about as detailed as this, where like you're locating small, intricate details behind the whole object. All right, so we got the net here. Let's start to develop the net a little bit. So give me an idea of where everything else will fall in place behind it. Some people like to do this with all pencil. 100% that's a different option. Feel a little bit more confident when they can erase. I 
I just always did it this way. I don't know. I don't know if it's better or worse. I just know this is, you know, it's my preference. I feel comfortable doing it this way, so. So far it's been working out. show you where I'm at when I finish let's, let's finish a head or two here just so we can uh, get a little close-up of our progress this lady's got some hair looks like parted let me see is there a hair parted oh, this thing keeps uh, my computer keeps freezing on me so I'm gonna just assume that it's parted but we're not sure her head looks like it's about that big Blonde lady. This her hair is going to have to be a little bit lighter. And her hair is coming down to just about her underneath her shoulders. Just for placement, guys. That's all I'm doing here. I'm trying to get people in the right spots. Hmm, what is that? Is that her arm? I think it's her arm. Alright, y'all, so let me get... I'll give you guys a little bit of a close-up now here. Great, she would have to wear some crazy ass of them. Christmas sweater in this picture. This means more detail that I gotta put in. Alright, so let me show you guys where we're at here. I think I might have to jump out today, guys a little early but I do want to show you guys the progress that we made yeah, that was about an hour in I want to make sure that we don't spill any paint there but today this is how far I've got that took me about an hour and ten minutes taking off all the stencil work locating where certain people are so I'll probably get back on hopefully tomorrow and uh, we can continue this um, for now I'm gonna let you guys go but if you guys have any questions please let me know um, I haven't ate any dinner yet so I gotta jump and grab something to eat uh, but I'm here for let's see what time is it 737 I'll give you all three minutes as I'm cleaning up if you guys have questions please let me know uh, after I finish dinner I'll probably jump back on this guy because uh, I could see at least another two hours of work is going to be needed to really move this in in the way that I feel like it needs to be moved. So, um, anyways, guys, I know I'm talking a lot. Let me know. It's uh, 7.38. Y'all, I got two minutes. I get a chance to breathe and just take a sip of water. I am now thinking maybe I might paint this little section here to finish up Mike. It's a really small section there, but I think that will look pretty dope. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, we got to still figure out how long this is all going to take. You know, it's a lot of just intricate detail that I could see already that we're going to have to put our work into. So let me pull all of this off. Looks like there's a person right here. So let me go ahead and just 
draw that person in. There we go. That just kind of gives me an idea that that person is about there. <laughs> Let's see if we got any other little knickknacks to take off while we're here. It's really important when you, if you ever take a break, you got to remember where all the other pieces of stencil are. I'm sure there's an easier way to pick these guys off but for me I'm just used to the blade here if you do this method I mean I would I would recommend you guys just weed off this stuff before you put the transfer tape on and save you a lot of time this was just dumb of me to sit here and just do that I should have just taken the time to weed it but I was too eager to get this on. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, I just wanted to start. Happens. Well, well, this is already stained. I don't know what the heck happened here. So we're going to have to figure out how to get rid of that. Alright, so let's see if I can grab a... Before we leave it on there for too long, I'm going to grab a little acetone. Let's see if we can just very carefully ease it off. When it's wet, it's best to just take it off. Like, don't wait and let it dry again. You gotta take action right when you do it. Otherwise, it's gonna stain pink. with a little bit of acetone on the q-tip and it makes a big difference so yo flight school what's good man I think you joined us a little late man I just finished up <laughs> so let me show you guys the final for today again sorry I know that uh, I didn't stream for that long today um, but I'll be back on soon so don't worry we'll we'll get to uh, finish up Byron Russell we'll get to start that center up right here but I might just do some more background work just to, you know, it's it's background work. I know you guys kind of get the gist of it now at this point because I'm starting to develop them. But if you guys do want to see me doing, you know, a couple of people, no problem. We'll jump back on and we'll, we'll do a couple of people. Ideally, that was what, uh, you know, Russell was supposed to be today. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll be back on very soon because i got to knock these out. Uh, the main thing was it was important for me to get all the stencil work off of it. Otherwise, it's, it has a probability of peeling off uh, all of the, the white base that we have here. And I don't want that because then you got peeled paint. You got to figure out, like, how do you reprep it and repaint it, all that stuff. I'd rather just take it off as soon as possible. Technically, I should have taken it off yesterday. But I didn't. Uh, it's all good. It looks like it was all taken off with two with very little uh, effort which is a good thing uh, but always just go through and make sure that all of these little pieces are taken off and then you can continue with your custom so um, all right guys so I don't have any questions uh, times 743 here uh, thank you flight school I appreciate the uh, look and fire uh, we've been we've been putting in a, a little bit of a lot of bit of work a little bit of work I don't know how you guys want to say it but uh, we were probably what three hours into this now and counting so the uh, good part is we're just doing it live here and we get to see what the end project will look like after it's all set so uh, if you guys haven't already the uh, feel good threads 
Twitch, uh, YouTube, Twitter, Patreon, patreon.com slash feelgoodthread. Shout out uh, Flight School Customs. By the way, dude, uh, I shouted you out earlier. Thank you so much for the uh, the tip for uh, the microphones. Uh, truly appreciate that, man. Uh, I shouted out GT Chong, this is Graham. Thank you so much again, another Patreon member as well. Um, I know the homie Blizz, he donated some money uh, the other day. And the homie Superman Lover, uh, also a Patreon fam. Thank you so much as well. Uh, if you guys want to see reconstruction videos, a lot of people keep asking me. They are now on patreon.com slash feelgoodthreads. Uh, we've got plenty of other tutorials, but right now the main videos we're working on is doing like a five or six part series of how to do a reconstruction on a Jordan 11. So if you haven't already joined us on patreon.com, we're trying to get to 50 subscribers. When we get to 50, we have a free airbrush to give away. And I'd love for you to win it. All right? With that said, guys, my name is Suheel with Feel Good Threads. I'll see you guys this week. I'm out of here, guys.